Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Chill Scrub and I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I just wanted to talk about essentially how simps and modern women together are going to ruin society, relationships, finances, and everything else. Normally, you would have a video where a lot of men are pointing the finger at women. We have a lot of videos where women are pointing the finger at men. But in this video, I'm going to say they work in tandem with each other. You have a lot of blue-pilled men, a lot of simps that encourage the behavior that women are doing now, the promiscuous behavior, the OnlyFans, the essentially softcore porn that we see on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, etc. This is all being promoted by simps. And why would women take their foot off the gas when they've been given so much power by weak spineless men and on women's front they don't understand that the behavior that they are showing is absolutely self-destructive they don't understand that until they hit the wall one of the biggest terms that's are that is in the red pill community the wall when women hit around 30 40 the wall hits at different ages but the wall is undefeated once they hit that wall they can't have children men are not looking at them the same way they gain a lot of weight they're essentially unwanted, right? But if I had to pick, I would honestly say the simps are the more dangerous out of the two things. Because if you eliminate the simps, everything else goes the way it's supposed to, right? Simps that sit there and watch, <laughs> literally buying OnlyFans, sitting in your room, masturbating to a woman that will never touch you has to be one of the most awkwardest things in the world you know the fact that it is such a widespread thing i really think that simping is a absolute disease and that these corporations like only fans and a lot of these social media companies they profit off of the male depression i've said it before and i'll say it again most of the things in this world it profits off of male depression and it incentivizes women to have bad behavior but if in my honest opinion if men grew some balls and stopped letting women behave this way if men gain some self-respect things like this wouldn't happen this is the reason why people like andrew tate are so respect it within i would say the manosphere not just the manosphere but just around men in general right or sneeko or uh, uh aiden ross all these dudes are respected especially aiden ross as of late because of the steps he's taken towards being a better man and not letting people run all over him if men actually you know put simp's foot to the fire i mean truly put simp's foot to the fire a lot of it would stop the problem is the programming that a lot of men have that they think that they can nice they way into some pussy you can't do it it doesn't work i've been there i've tried it it doesn't work you cannot keep giving and giving and giving and giving and expect something to return when you didn't get in the first place especially if you don't have enough self-respect to give a boundary a lot of these dudes, they don't have boundaries. They don't have a lot of self-respect. And a lot of these women ha don't have boundaries either or self-respect. And the problem I see a lot nowadays is we both know what's right and wrong, but yet we continue with it is because we are comfortable. A lot of people don't want to admit it. A lot of people don't want to say it. But a lot of people are comfortable in this miserable state that we're in. We're in. And a lot of companies, they're going to benefit off that comfort. Both sides are saying that these dating apps and all this other stuff is trash. Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, whatever you use, garbage. If you're a man, don't use it. If you use a social media app, you are actually encouraging something. It, it's just flat out. There's no denying it. It just is what it is. And you're also contributing to your own depression. Those things are made for women to succeed. But the thing about it is, if men in masses get off of those things, women would too. If the main reason why women are on social media and these dating apps is to get attention, if you withdraw the attention or withdraw the attention, they would no longer be on there. This is why I'm so mad at simps. If the simps or the weak men 
what have enough balls to say i will not put up with this behavior and swallow the pill that you know some women will not want you most women will not want you even with alphas alpha struggles too most dudes think that alpha is just slaying every woman that had it that that does not happen that's not how that works a lot of men are struggling out here once a man comes to the to consensus he's like you know what even if i'm not going to get laid every night it's not worth the disrespect it's just not it's not worth me sitting up here watching only fans chick paying 3.99 for a woman's butthole it's not worth it it's just not like think about it like it should be mind-blowing how many men are sitting up there late at night with their dick in their hand jerking off fer ferociously to a woman they will never meet they were never touched that woman in real life would never look your way and she's spending the hard-earned money that you worked for and you're just okay with it just mindlessly jacking your jacking your meat just mindlessly doing it right and this is where i definitely agree with the whole red pill when it comes down to self-improvement and working on yourself and doing what it takes financially physically mentally all that but I say one goes into another. You start working on your physical appearance. You start looking better. Then you're like, I want more money. And the more you start to work on yourself, the less the less crap you're going to take from women. And I will say this firsthand from experience. The more I work out, the more I get my finances together, the more I take care of myself, the more I am intolerant of what people have to say, not just women, men too. Right? And the more that when I say something, I stand on it. And that's one of the biggest problems with men today, especially weak men. They don't stand for anything. A lot of dudes would rather spend eight hours a day on a video game, cough, cough, Tekken 7, or what have you, Modern Warfare, whatever game you play. They will sit there for eight hours a day and wonder why they don't get the woman they want. You don't deserve it. And you know what's crazy? The more I say these things the more in day-to-day -day life, the more I get called an asshole. And it's just the truth. A lot of... <laughs> a lot of simps masquerade their niceness and laziness. Nobody says it, but it's the absolute truth. A lot of simps, they masquerade as being nice because they are too lazy to do what they actually need to do to get what they actually want. It's just the truth. When you want something bad enough, there is no excuse. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. You're going to go get it done, right? When it comes to women, because I've been going on men hard enough, when it comes to women, although I do blame a lot of these simps for pretty much advocating them to be absolute whores, a lot of women know right from wrong. A lot of women, they lack accountability. There is no such thing as accountability in a woman's word. A woman wants what she perceives it's male privilege which is not male privilege at all what she looks at is the top 20 percent of men or the top 10 percent or whatever percent of men you want to you want to say that have everything and they want that they want those benefits but they don't want the responsibility and the hard work and the stress that comes along with it it's always a classic case they want what they see. They, they they see it, but they don't they don't truly understand the hard work that comes along with it. They just don't. A lot of women are overly masculine. A lot of women in this day and age will tell a man what he wants. And the saddest thing about it is a lot of men are too pussy to actually tell you tell them what they want, not just through their words, but through their own actions. You know, they will not tolerate it. A, a lot of dudes will have the mindset, well, I'll put up with her attitude, I'll put up with her disrespecting me because I get the fuck a fine bitch man fuck that it is not worth it i've been there it is not worth the headaches man it, it's definitely not you can always do better there will always be another woman bro it, don't the moment you tolerate disrespect is going to continue and the craziest thing about it now is that the these simps these weak ass niggas these are the people with all the power now these are the blue pill mangina beta cucks that you see on twitter on instagram on youtube on etc on twitch that are getting people banned left and right because the idea ideologies that they have they know it doesn't work these are the ones that sit up there at nighttime crying or waiting on the phone like keep checking their phone for a chick that's probably getting her back blown out by a dude in the background and they don't want to stomach that pill 
they rather keep drinking the Kool-Aid and keep doing things that don't work, which I really think the simps are insane. If your tactics have been proven to not work, why do you why do you keep doing them? Right? Women want families, but they think they ha they have they have the illusion of time. Time is extremely short. A lot of women have this asinine ideology that I'm just going to do it later. There is no later. There is now. If you're in your mid 20s, late 20s, you need to start thinking about having children now. You need to start thinking about taking the man seriously now. A lot of women, as we know, have unrealistic expectations that cannot be matched. And we and for most dudes, there's no point in trying. A lot of dudes that I say, if you really feel that way, just walk away. Go ahead, be a MGTOW. Walk away. It, it, it's it's not that it's not worth the stress. It's not. You know, and let things play out as it naturally will. But I think that's going to be it for me, guys. I'm going to finish up this leg press set. Uh, I fucking hate leg day. Let me know in the comment section how do y'all feel about leg day. Please, it's an open discussion. Y'all can always hit me up in the chat. I appreciate everybody who has uh, subscribed to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, follow all that stuff. Man, I'll post the links in the description below. Please read and click those. I'll see you guys next time on another video. Peace.